This video is sponsored by PDF Element Pro by Wondershare. Hey there, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video I want to share five super cool tips and tricks in relation to customizing your home screen and some related app drawer tactics that I think you will love to learn, so let's dive right in. All right, so the very first thing you want to talk about has to do with rearranging icons on the home screen and how to streamline that. Now, when you look at other Android phones or the iPhone, it's very hard to adjust applications on the home screen. For example, if I want to move an application from one screen to the other, I have to grab that one application and I have to move it around and I have to do that if I have 50 applications, I have to do that one by one for every single application, which is quite time consuming. Now with Samsung One UI, this is actually very easy to do because when you press and hold on a single application, what you can do is you can tap on the select button. Now once you tap on the select button, you can actually select as many apps as you want and you can do some batch processes on them at the same time. For example, I can take all these applications, I can just tap on create a folder and that's going to create a folder. I can remove all these applications from the home screen all at once instead of doing it one by one. Or I can uninstall them all at the same time. Now let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. So I'm going to go into my app drawer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to tap on select. I'm going to select five applications. Okay. So look at that. Now I have five applications. I can press and hold. They get bundled in under my finger and then I can drag it to the home screen. Let me just move it over here and dump it to the top. So within seconds, I was able to take five applications and just dump them from the app drawer to the home screen. A quick word from our sponsor, PDF Element Pro by Wondershare. This is the easiest all-in-one tool to fill, edit, and annotate documents on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod. All right, so let me show you some of the powerful features of the PDF Element Pro. So let me just bring up the application, okay? I'm going to open up a document. So as you can see, I can easily highlight, underline, or strike through any part of the document by using the powerful built-in tools in PDF Element Pro. Tap on strike through and that has been stricken through. I have a side panel here. I can access all the pages. I can go through the pages like this if I want to. And I can access bookmarks, comments, or search within the actual PDF document, no problem. And of course, the PDF Element Pro fully supports the Apple Pencil. So if I tap on this button right here, I can go right over here, pick the color that I want to use, and I can start writing on the document as you can see. Additionally, what I can do is I can use sticky notes to take notes on the actual document. So if I tap on the sticky note section here, again, I can choose the color that I want. And then anywhere I want to take a note, I can just tap and it's going to allow me to create a sticky note. And that's going to just stick to that area right there. When you want to access, you just tap on it and you can see the notes right away. And of course, if the document can also be filled out, as you can see, I can fill the document no problem. And of course, if I tap over here, I do have a bunch of settings for my PDF document. I can print from here. I can save a copy, email the document, upload the document, share the document, whatever that you need to do. So the links to the PDF Element Pro are going to be down below. It works on the iPad, iPhone, or the iPod Touch. And of course, PC and Mac. And dump it to the top. So within seconds, I was able to take five applications and just dump them from the app drawer to the home screen. And on top of that, again, if I press and hold, tap on select, and select all five of these guys, what I can do is I can tap on create a folder, okay? And that puts them all in a folder. I can give it a name, let's just say X for now, and look at what I have. I have a folder that was created instantly with all the apps I want inside it. Now the good news is these tricks work on the home screen and also they work in the app drawer. So if I were to press and hold and select one, two, three, four, five, I can do the same create folder situation right here. Now I have a folder in my app drawer with those five applications selected. And of course I can do this for any application. Now let's go back to the home screen. Let me just grab the settings application, put it back over here, okay? So let's go back over here. So let's say I wanna remove these applications from the folder all at once. Again, press and hold, tap on select, grab what you need, okay? And then you can grab all these guys, put it outside, 
and just dump it right here. The folder itself disappears and the apps are now free. One more thing that's very important. If you want to remove a bunch of applications that you don't want on the home screen, again, with other phones, it takes forever. With Samsung phones with the One UI, you just select what you want, you tap on remove, and boom, they're gone. Now they're just removed and you can also uninstall them if you so desire. In fact, if I press and hold over here and tap on select, and if I tap on uninstall, it's going to ask me to uninstall each application. I'm just gonna cancel, you can see what's happening, okay? So those four applications, I chose not to uninstall, but I could have one by one. Now, one more feature that I truly love is if you pinch the screen and if you tap on the settings, uh, we take a lot of time to create our home screens. So sometimes accidentally you press a button, you move stuff around and just mess up your home screen. So what you can do is you can uh, pinch the screen, tap on settings, and you can say lock the home screen layout. Okay, so when you uh, enable this, when you go outside, now if I press and hold, I don't have the option to select anything, okay? I cannot take this and move it anywhere. It's locked in place, which I think is actually great for some people. I myself have messed up my home screen several times in the past. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about has to do with this little number here on top of the messages. It says 51, it's a red dot, as you can see. Now, I can actually customize the way that looks. So again, you pinch the screen, you go into the settings, all right? And then over here, we have something known as the app icon badges. Now, when you disable this, that stuff just disappears. You don't see how many messages you have. You don't see a notification icon on the top. So you don't know what's going on with the applications. But again, I like to enable these. So let's just enable that. But when you tap on it, you do have two options. You have the dot or the number option for the batch style. So with the batch style at number, you will see the actual number of notifications for that particular app. But when I go inside, which actually is my preference, I like to go with this cleaner look, the dot look. Now when I go outside, it's simply going to be a tiny little dot telling me that there's a notification in that application. If I tap here, same thing with the Gmail, tiny dot on the top right showing me I have a notification. And finally, if I go inside here, okay, go to the settings, tap on this again. You can also enable this, notifications on app icon. So if I tap on this one, if I were to go in here and press and hold, it actually shows me the actual notification as you can see. It doesn't show me everything because sometimes you don't have enough room, uh, but it does show me the last three messages are from Saki number two, okay? And if I were to go to my Gmail application here, press and hold, again, it shows you here what that email is from. So that's just the upper part. This is the notification area right there, okay? Another thing to be aware of. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?